Life in a Medieval City by Francis Geese offers a vivid and comprehensive portrayal of urban life during the Middle Ages. The book delves into various aspects of daily existence in a medieval city, highlighting the social, economic, and cultural dynamics that shaped these urban centers. Through meticulous research and a keen eye for detail, Geese presents a nuanced and compelling view of the medieval city, allowing readers to immerse themselves in this distant yet captivating world. One of the book's central themes is the significance of the urban setting itself. Geese underscores the crucial role of cities as centers of trade, commerce, and culture during the Middle Ages. Cities were bustling hubs of activity, drawing people from diverse backgrounds. These urban centers served as magnets for commerce and were places where artisans and merchants congregated to exchange goods and ideas. Geese provides a wealth of information on the various trades and crafts practiced in medieval cities, illuminating the intricate web of economic interdependence that sustained these communities. Geese also examines the social structure within medieval cities. She delineates the hierarchies that existed with the nobility and clergy at the top, followed by the bourgeoisie, and then the common people. The author emphasizes the ways in which social status was reflected in everything from one's dwelling to the clothes one wore. Furthermore, she highlights the role of guilds in organizing and regulating the various trades, which played a significant part in shaping the social and economic landscape of the city. These guilds, with their elaborate systems of apprenticeship and mastery, provided both stability and competition in the urban workforce. The book's focus on the material culture of the medieval city is another intriguing facet. Geese meticulously describes the architecture, food, clothing, and sanitation of the time. Readers gain insight into the layout of medieval cities, with their winding streets and crowded houses. The descriptions of marketplaces and workshops give a sense of the vibrant and often chaotic atmosphere that characterized these urban spaces. Geese also delves into the culinary habits of the period, revealing the importance of bread, ale, and various meats in the medieval diet. Her exploration of clothing and hygiene practices underscores the close connection between personal appearance and social status. Geese attention to detail extends to the religious and cultural aspects of medieval city life. She illuminates the role of the church as a central institution, not only for spiritual matters but also as a hub of education and charity. The book discusses the rich tapestry of festivals and celebrations that punctuated the medieval calendar, offering a glimpse into the importance of communal rituals and festivities. Geese emphasizes the critical role of storytelling, both in the form of oral tradition and written literature, as a means of transmitting knowledge and cultural values. One of the book's strengths is its ability to transport readers to the medieval city through its vivid descriptions and anecdotes. Geese frequently incorporates primary sources, including diaries, letters, and official documents, to provide first-hand accounts of life in the city. These personal narratives offer a window into the emotions, concerns, and aspirations of the people who inhabited these urban environments. While life in a medieval city excels in its comprehensive exploration of its subject, it is not without its limitations. The book primarily focuses on the city of Troyes in France, which may lead some readers to wonder if the experience of urban life was significantly different in other regions of medieval Europe. Additionally, the narrative leans toward a somewhat romanticized view of the medieval city, potentially overlooking the harsher realities and challenges faced by its inhabitants. In conclusion, Francis Geese's Life in a Medieval City is a compelling and thorough exploration of urban life during the Middle Ages. Through her meticulous research and vivid descriptions, Geese paints a multifaceted portrait of these dynamic and complex urban centers. Her work provides valuable insights into the social, economic, 
and cultural dynamics that shaped medieval cities, allowing readers to step back in time and experience the vibrant tapestry of daily life in the Middle Ages.